All right. Hello, Ian and Bill. What would, what would it take for you guys to switch from holding majority alts to holding majority Bitcoin? Thanks. Okay. All right. Um, so for me, uh, right now, honestly, I don't even have much Bitcoin. Right now, I'm, I'm basically in Ether in Helium and Matic Network. I'm doing staking for that and in cash. <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really have Bitcoin. Uh, I know that's, that's different than most people, right? Most, most people own some Bitcoin, but um, I would say definitely don't, don't do what I do, right? Everyone has different reasons and different needs for investing, right? For me, uh, I'm basically just focused on building token metrics and investing in some altcoins that are very undervalued, that have long-term potential, right? And uh, as mentioned before, uh, I'm very bullish on Helium. I've been mining that. I'm bullish on Matic. Uh, I think it's a good project long-term, good, good technology, good low cap, right? The next one I'm probably going to buy more of is probably Blockstack. Uh, and then my large cap play is, is ETH, right? Um, I mean, I, I think Ethereum is going to surpass Bitcoin uh, long-term in the next 10 years, right? I know the Bitcoin maximum still like hearing that, um, but that's kind of where I'm putting my money, right? I, I'm not saying Bitcoin is not bad. I mean, Bitcoin is still a great project, but I think in, in terms of upside, I think Bitcoin is kind of like, it's, Bitcoin to me is like bonds, right? And, uh, and I think if, if you go to equities, you kind of have two ways of, of investing, right? So this kind of goes back to, to the book I mentioned earlier, I'm going through Anti-Fragile by Nassim Tlaib. So basically you have kind of two types of portfolios. You have the 60% stocks, 40% bonds portfolio, where bonds are basically a hedge, or you can have somebody who just does maybe like 80, 80% stocks, uh, and the rest is maybe just uh, puts or maybe some other form of hedge or, or shorts, right? So people are different, right? So with me, uh, I have, I'm very comfortable investing in alts because I feel like our team has done the due diligence to figure out which ones have actual potential versus which ones are just shit coins, right? So, but not everybody m might have that appetite for risk. Uh, Bill? Okay. So for token metrics, if you ask token metrics, when will we give on up on alts? The answer would be never, right? Because <laughs> that's what we we're do. We're kind of biased. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So we're, it's all led by Ethereum. Now, this question is interesting if you consider macroeconomics, okay, when would Bitcoin, let me rephrase the question. When would Bitcoin go up to the point where it kind of almost wrecked the rest of the crypto market? Like what could turn Bitcoin into a monster? Now the answer to that question is if there was something wrong with the US dollar or if there was something wrong with how people perceive the quality of the US treasury debt okay so theoretically in the world if the dollar ever fell apart everybody could go oh my god i've got to have stores of value like gold silver and bitcoin okay in that case you know maybe bitcoin and eth it's sort of like a two coin market we actually got a little taste of that this week but you know in terms of what could be like an ongoing what what could turn bitcoin into an ongoing wrecking ball for alts would be this like economic or macro crisis. Now, we're not anticipating that in the short term. We think the DeFi space, we think, you know, the Ethereum narrative is compelling, you know, as you've heard, you know, as you can see the Ethereum logo behind me, right? <laughs> so we're, we're into it. But you also have to consider the fact that, you know, if Bitcoin did become a wrecking ball, that it would be because there's a problem with the U.S. dollar. All right. Yeah. Well said, Bill. Well said. Thank you. So also tell us what you think. I mean, what would it take you or audience to get out of altcoins and go into Bitcoin and, and vice versa? Tell us down in the comments below. Definitely want to hear what everyone has to say.